some of the musicians that came in, when they had a question about the song, they didn't look at me. They looked at the bass player, they looked at a guitar player, they looked at another man, like, so is this how it's supposed to go? And I'm thinking, why are you asking them when I wrote the darn thing? Put your blinders on and move forward. I want to die laughing, want to love till it hurts. This is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. And this is Chris with the, <laughs> you can get him. This is what a musician looks like. And this is why we all need chiropractors or, uh, you know, Hi, Chris. Oh, yeah, you doing? <laughs> you guys ready? I want to live. Like there's no tomorrow. I kind of like it here. I think that it's intimate. It's less uh, rockish. I started out as a backup singer. So one of the neighbors was talking to a friend of his and he said, this is Jill Jack. And he's like, wow, what's it like living next to Jill Jack? And I started laughing and he did too because they either see me two ways. They either see me in my pajamas or they see me on a way to a gig. Six bandmates, which sometimes can be kids too. Everything becomes a promo pack in my house. I'm tired of me. I'm tired of me. A week in the life of Jill Jack. Mitch Album's a good friend of mine. He's done nothing but help me for the last 10 years with my music career. He believes in helping the local uh, scene, music scene. I don't like to be a bitch. I don't. I am doing everything from the writing, the the singing, the band, the rehearsals, to promotion, to organization, to the stage production, to everything, and that's fine. I'm okay with it, but I'm only okay with it when, when it goes right. Tomorrow's gonna be very nice. The show will go on, and it'll go on the way I want it to be. Here, I work so hard, um, and I feel really blessed because I'm surrounded by so many great people. I get emotional though, I get like teary. I'm doing it, doing it big though. And unfortunately, um, arthritis has gotten them both, and uh, my mom's in a hospital bed, and my dad is home as well, and a walker, but they were there. They were there for a lot of the CD releases. And the only place I feel good that gets rid of that restlessness is on stage. I want the world to know my music, and I want them to forget about their problems for three hours. I've been waiting for this moment for nine months. I am so ready to do it. We're gonna rock it out. We're going. I wanna live like there's no tomorrow. This is going to be so awesome, I can't wait.